song says, I want Jesus to walk with me. I want Jesus to walk with me. Does that song make sense this morning to anybody in this church? I want Jesus to walk with me. In these trials and tribulations we find ourselves in. You know, the word of God is always powerful, amen? Amen. amen. And we are a word church, amen? amen? And when I read the readings last week preparing for this Sunday, the second letter, the second reading from St. Paul struck at me. As St. Paul wrote to the Thessalonians, he said, in all circumstances, give thanks. In all circumstances, give thanks. And we know we have a lot of circumstances in our life right now. Many people we know are suffering physically, praying for those who are, have COVID or trying their best to recover from it. So many people are struggling financially, just trying to provide food. So many people are going through mental and emotional challenges. But in all circumstances, give thanks to God. In all circumstances. And so I want to thank you for being with us today, spending this time, which is the best part of the week for me. Whether you are in live stream, I was watching some of it, and or we are in the sanctuary, we are to give thanks to God. So thank you for praying with us today for coming to Mass, and we know it's a challenge sometimes to, to gather, but we know that there's no restrictions when we come to the Eucharist. Mass is offered every Sunday at 10 o'clock and 4 o'clock on Saturday. Amen? Amen. And the doors are open for you to come. So in all circumstances, give thanks. Let us give thanks for our music ministry today. Thank you for a great job today. Amen. You know, in, in the genius of Miss Tanya, we were able to have the choir, okay, in the, in the, in the pew, and, and have someone each Sunday lead us in song. Last Sunday was Miss Karen, this week is Mr. Eduardo. So thank you so much for leading us in song and prayer today. Thank you. To our musicians as well. Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you. In all circumstances, give thanks. I want to thank all those who are working so hard to make that exchange between the many people give us gifts and those who need gifts. If you're part of that ministry, just, just stand. We just might give God thanks for your hard work you're doing. Anybody who's working themselves, thank you so much. Ms. Pryor, Sonora, Brian, April, Ms. Melody. Thank you so much. And especially now, it, it's so important that many people are hurting. And it's one thing to buy gifts, but the exchange part is not easy. So the patience, the hard work, God sees it, and you are appreciated. Thank you so much. In all circumstances, give thanks for all of you who bought and sold Roman Chances. Amen, the fundraiser, so thank you for that. <laughs> Miss, yeah, Miss Yvonne, getting money after church. So. <laughs> And to Ms. Yvonne, thank you so much for handling that business. We appreciate you as well. Thank you so much for that great gift. So in all circumstances, again, we give thanks. And thank you for being a faithful church family of St. Martin de Porres Catholic Church here in the kingdom of North Philadelphia. Anybody celebrating their birthday this week? Would you stand? Birthdays, Ms. Streeter, okay, okay. Birthday, Ms. Booyah. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday, happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy Birthday, ladies, and celebrate the gift of life. Amen. Amen. I want to thank, in all circumstances, give thanks for all of you who were part of 
the Tuesday True Devotion of Mary retreat. So, amen, amen. Give God some praise for that, amen. Amen, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I want us to get more animated maybe next year when we come to church. <laughs> no, we want to thank you. I was peeking. I had class, but I was peeking. You know, I don't miss much, but I was peeking to see who was there. And so it was wonderful to see that this, uh, this past Tuesday. And uh, thank you, Ms. Jackie. Thank you, Father McConan, for an outstanding job with that devotion. There are more books and rosaries available. That, that's a gift from the church. So there's no excuse for you to get uh, be part of that. Father's going to expand this ministry. It's a great way to teach and to grow spiritually close to the Lord. So we are blessed in so many ways. Amen? Amen. So again, this Tuesday, 630, you're very welcome to join. There will be Bible study on uh, Thursday, 630. You can join us for that as well. And the bulletin contains other announcements for the good of our church. So once again, thank you so much for being here. We are blessed. In the midst of all the stuff going on, that, that candle is lit. That's a joy candle. So if somebody asks you why you feel joyful today, you say, I, I know who holds my life in his hand. You say to them, I ain't got time for some of that mess because I'm blessed by God. You tell them that I'm, I'm a hold on that helps on the way. You tell them that nobody can take my joy from me. Nobody. Because the world didn't give it to me. And the world can't take it from me. You want some good news before we leave today? You don't sound very happy about having some good news. Sister Linda Marie, would you come up here, please? Wake up, put your ice down. I received some good news uh, this week, and it was confirmed today by the director of the Office for Black Catholics, who is in our midst, Mr. Andrews. Sis, you got a new ministry coming up, don't you? Yes, ma'am. What is it? You want to tell us? Coordinator. Okay, come up, tell us. Tell us. Put your pen. <laughs> I will be working with uh, James Andrews as the coordinator of the Office of Black Catholics in the Archdiocese of Philadelphia. So we're very happy and joyful. The Sister Lynn Marie, who has given her talents to many ways to our church, is now going to be working with James as a coordinator in his office, the Office for Black Catholics. So we're very blessed here at St. Martin de Porres. And when you've been blessed, you gotta stay humble mm -hmm. and keep working hard each and every day. All right? And so we keep moving forward with the joy in all circumstances, give thanks and praise to our God. Stand up and give God a round of applause for all that God has done for us, amen.